I wanted to touch on two aspects, if I may. Um, first off, um, from a financial perspective, I think this is all about the um, a long COVID, about the long term economic impact of the pandemic. Um, uh, and how that's going to play out. And thinking particularly about the furlough scheme, we heard a little of that last week, um, uh, how that unwinds is going to be critical um, for arrears and for voids, but also for sustainable tenancies. Um, uh, I think a lot of working residents may well have access savings over that time, may actually be in a more precarious position than they were um, at the start of the pandemic. And we know that the impacts of the pandemic have been very unevenly distributed. And so the uh, impacts for, for sustainable communities also really important. And how can we support those? And then I guess we're waiting for um, austerity mark two. We heard a little bit of an indication last week about when that might be on the cards, but I think that's all um, up for grabs um, and the impact on our local authority partners um, and on any potential rent settlement, um, very important. The other aspect I'd like to dwell on really is governance. And for me, um, the next 12 months about governance is all around risk and assurance, um, very uncertain times, how boards manage risk, um, how they can mitigate and control it, um, and the assurance that they seek um, that those controls are working going to be particularly important. And for a board, how, what does good assurance look like and how do you get hold of some, I think is going to be really important, as will be um, building and maintaining a really robust and effective audit committee, um, which is a key underpin to um, excellent governance in uncertain times.